Squawk. Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys want to know a fun fact? Yeah. When hippos get upset, their sweat turns red. Well, Ben's got more facts. Let's throw it to Ben. Here's some fun facts for you. Fact number one. I'm on this new workout plan. Banging my head on a wall burns 150 calories an hour. Dude, there's no way that works. Dude, watch. So, how's the workout going? Great. Fact number two. Nomophobia is the fear of your phone dying. Fact number three. George Bush was actually a cheerleader at one point. Ben, honestly, I don't think anybody knew those facts. Yeah, well, let's throw to Brianna with some tips for freshmen. I'm Nora. I'm Brianna. And these are tips for freshmen. Tip one, bring your headphones. Get involved. Tip five. Respect the class. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Please don't hurt me. I didn't mean to lose such an accident. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tip six. You don't walk out with the same people you walk in with. Freshman. Now here's Chef Gary. Chef Gary here. We're gonna make bag tacos. Take about 10-15 minutes. First step, you need to brown the ground beef. You're gonna need to cut it open. Probably want to cut it from the top. You know, put this to a six. So then you're gonna take the ground beef. You're gonna squeeze it out. Like so. Make sure you get all of it because you don't wanna leave none because you gotta feed all these all these hungry people in the house. So you're gonna need this. If you don't have this, just use something that you can smash this stuff with. I'm gonna not need that. And uh while this ground beef is browning, we're gonna go Mix the mix the seasoning. All right, so you're gonna need one third of a cup. Make sure the thing is good. Make sure that's one third. Yep, that's good. Then you're gonna wanna take your seasoning. It doesn't matter what kind of seasoning you want to use, as long as it as long as it tastes good, right? Get 
that in there. I'm gonna take this, stir it with. All right. So uh, once your seasoning's all mixed up, you wanna just get the stir thing. And you're just gonna look at a little flick of the wrist. <laughs> you just wanna get it all, all mixed in with the, with the beef. Make sure it's brown, no pink stuff, or else uh, you're gonna get sick. So uh, once it starts sizzling, you're gonna know it's it's done. It's got all mixed in, and it'll taste nice. So now uh, you're gonna take this. Yeah, you're, you're gonna crush. It. Now you wanna pop them from the bag. Make sure it's open wide so you don't spill it on your hands. It'll burn. Now you wanna, you wanna take something. Take this. And you wanna slide all the meat in there. And then you wanna add your ingredients. Add whatever you like. Salsa, cheese, anything else. I don't care. So, we can set this down. Okay. I like a little bit of cheese because I just like cheese. Cheese, cheese in that. And then, uh, you want to take your fork. Once you get all mashed up and the cheese kind of melts in here with the Fritos, make sure you get to the bottom of the bag. You know, make sure you get all the crunchy goodness. I'm just gonna wanna get some. Mm. That's good. Tacos in a bag. Now let's head to Norwood with Athlete of the Week. The Clover High School tennis squad has gotten off to a great start this year. They have a really large team and they have won almost all of their matches. Grace is hopeful for a good rest of the season. We're doing pretty good. We lost a lot of seniors last year. We're doing better than I thought. While she enjoys playing for the Blue Eagles, tennis has been a part of her life as long as she can remember. That is also why she has excelled here at Clover. I've been playing tennis ever since I was three years old, and I love all the girls on the team, and they're a lot of fun to be around and play with. Thanks for watching the squad. If you have any suggestions, email the email above. Was <laughs> <laughs>